If you'd like more people clicking the buttons to share your blog posts on social media, I'm gonna give you some quick ways to make that happen in this little video. So, I'll turn on screen sharing here and introduce you to a plugin called Super Socializer. You can see it on the screen here. This is a free plugin for WordPress that allows you to do a couple of things that will really help. And no matter what plugin you're using, you can apply some of these concepts to what you do. So first, you can see over here, I've got floating share buttons. So no matter where someone is, as they're reading this blog post, the share buttons are always there. They're easy to click uh, to be able to share that blog post. So that's thing number one, is make sure you have those floating share buttons on the left. If you are using this specific plugin, you'll find it adds to your WordPress admin menu over here, Super Socializer, and social sharing is what you wanna look for. When you click that, it will come up with this page where you can choose what you want your buttons to look like and some different settings. Right here is where to enable floating. So click to enable it, and of course you need social sharing enabled as well. You want it to share the URL of the web page that the icons are located on. That way it will automatically share whatever blog post your readers are looking at. And then you can choose which services you want to show up. As you can see, I've got Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn enabled. I only have three right now because every time I've tested and every other test I've seen, when you give people fewer options, they're more likely to click one. If you've got 15 or 20 options running down that left side of your page, it overwhelms people. They can't decide which one to click and then they don't click anything. So try keeping the number of sharing options down to just two, three, maybe four, and see how that works for you. Just pick the networks that your audience is most active on. And then you can enable this additional little feature right here, enable more icon. When you click that, what it will do is display the little share icon, and when someone clicks it, let's go back over here, what will pop up is this box, which allows them to choose to share on any of these other networks. So the options are still there for those who are you know, really big fans of other networks, and they know what this little orange button means, but it's not overwhelming, so it's an easier choice for people to make to share. The second thing that this plugin will add for you is down here at the very bottom of your post. There we go. It will add icons here for you. And you can choose which ones to enable here as well. Those are back up here under standard interface. It's right here. You can enable it. You can change the title. So spread the love is one option. You can say share. Your friends will thank you. Whatever you'd like for your call to action text that says, hey, click these little buttons. And then you can choose what you want to show up. You can decide whether you want the share counts, how many times they've been shared to show, uh, and some other features here. So enable the more icon. That's the same one that I showed you a minute ago. So this is one quick and easy way to get a plugin on your site that will add those floating share buttons to the left, share buttons below your blog post, and get more people sharing your content because they just need that little reminder of, hey, this is easy, this is quick, and you can share this helpful content with your friends on social media. So make sure you get either Super Socializer or a similar plugin installed on your blog and working for you so that more people will share your content, which means more people can find you. If you found this quick video tip helpful, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video.